Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're doing Moving Straight Ahead 4.4, the very last lesson in our uh, unit on linear equations. And the lesson is called Pulling It All Together. It's on page 76 and 77, A through B. The ACE problems are 32 through 35 and 46 through 47. And your learning target is that I can use two known values to answer an equation. So basically what we're doing is we're taking what we learned about slope, we're taking what we've learned about solving equations, and we're putting those two topics together in a very interesting way. All right, here is the problem. Mr. Briggs has some money stashed away for a new motorcycle for, from Christmas. Okay, I got a whole bunch of Christmas money. I put it in a peanut butter jar. I'm saving it. Um, but then I start saving some of my money every day. Every day I put some money in that jar. It's the same amount of money every day. After 10 days, I have $120. After 15 days, I have $130. Now here is the situation. I want to know how much money am I saving every day and how much money I started with. We do not know how much was in the jar from Christmas. We do not know how much I'm putting away every day. But I'm telling you that it's a linear relationship and that there was some money to start with. So, how do we solve this sort of problem? Let's explore it a little bit more. Okay, so here's what we have. We have our regular linear equation format. And the le regular linear equation format works like this. We have y, which is our dependent variable, right? Usually our dependent variable, times mx. And m, remember, is our slope, usually. And x is our independent variable. And b represents the y-intercept, the amount of money that I started with, or the value that I'm starting with, at zero. So what can I do to solve this problem? Well, first, can I find the slope? Let's figure out that. Well, I know that at some point, right, if my dependent variable y is the amount of, if I treat y as my dependent variable, the amount of money, and if I treat the days, right, as my x value, okay, Right there, we have the rise, we have the run, right? Because we're thinking that if this were a graph, it would start with some amount of money, and I would be going up as time goes on, right? Well, I know that I had $130, and I after 15 days, and I know that I had $120 after 10 days. And I have to ask myself, what is the change in rise and what is the change in run? What I have here are two points, a y value and an x value, right? I know that it's when I had $130, it was after 15 days. I know that when I had $120, it was after 10 days. And all I have to do is treat it like slope, treat it like rise over run. So 130 minus 120 is 10, right? So I had a change in money of $10. I know that I had a change in time. The difference between uh, 15 and 10 is 5. So right there I have my slope. It's 10 fifths, right? However, can I make that any smaller? Well, 10 divided by 5 ends up equaling 2. So my slope, my rate of change is 2. And what does that mean? Well, that means every day I'm adding $2. So now I go back to my original equation. I know that every day I'm solving $2, but I want to know what am I starting with.
And if you're, this is a little tricky to understand, make sure to ask me, Mr. Briggs, for some help clearing it up. It's really one of these things that you just do with practice. So if I have $2 per day, well then I go back to my original equation here. And I use one of my examples to solve in the other information. Well I know, how about I try, I know that I had $130 after 15 days. Okay. And I earned $2 a day, and after 15 days I had $130, plus some unknown amount of money, B. And B, what is B? B is my y-intercept. It's my unknown amount of money. Well then, I just solved this like a regular equation, the way we've been solving equations all along. 2 times 15 is 30. I have 130 equals 30 plus B, and I subtract 30 from both sides, and I get B equals 100. And that is how much money I started with. So my equation, my grandmaster equation for figuring out how much money I have is my money, right, which is also my Y value, equals two dollars every day plus one hundred and you can test this out with either of these equations so for instance if I had ten days right I know that ten times two is twenty plus one hundred equals one hundred and twenty dollars which matches what I know from my original point. So, right there, I've solved this problem. Not only do I know that I started with $100, but I can predict how much money I will have after how many days, um, you know, in the future. Okay, that seems a little complicated. I have this little cheat sheet for you. Okay, finding the answer to any two points, right? Using any two points. First, find the rate of change. All right? And you do that by finding the change in y divided by the change in x. And that rate of change is your slope. And then plug the rate and any known values into the y equals mx plus b equation, your standard linear equation. Okay? So, you usually know what y is. You usually know it's your dependent variable. You know that m is your rate of change. And you know what x is which is usually your independent variable, and then the only thing you don't know is b. And you use that b, you, you use what you know about equations to solve for b, solve for that y-intercept. And the fun part about all this is that you can just go back and check your equation when you're done. All right, your coursework, ladies and gentlemen, is on page 76 and 77. A through B. Your ACE problems are 32 through 35, 46 through 47. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead, have fun. When you're done with this, make sure to ask for the unit test and your project packet. Have fun.